Let's take a little more detailed look at the Initialize Q VI. Draw your attention to the lower left corner and you have a single instance of the VI right here. It's based on a constant. This is a type definition for states and then it also uses an error cluster. Let's double click on this and take a look at its block diagram. We have two inputs to the VI. One is the state type definition and the other is the error cluster. The error cluster drives the Boolean case structure. We either pass the cluster straight through if we have an error condition with a default value for the queue. Otherwise, we use the enumerated data type in that state to define a chunk of memory for the queue. And ob obtain queue VI is located right here. This VI produces a reference to the queue memory, and that queue is based on the element's data type that you've wired. And finally, the three initialization related states are inserted into the queue, and the queue reference is made available as an output.